Good morning, guys, and welcome to Unique Not Different with me, Shamla. And today I have Donna Rest, who is the founder and owner of Stingray Sports Academy from Tobago. So previously we, we were going to discuss the Tobago, um, you know, THA budget, but now given that we are under a, a tropical storm warning, we kind of divert our conversation into preparedness, disaster preparedness, as it relates to persons with disability and how inclusive it is in terms of um, accommodation, shelters, and so on. So from a Tobago perspective, I have Donnell Red. So Donnell, good morning. Good morning, Shamala. Okay, so um, as you know that we are under a warning for a potential tropical storm, right? Um, what, from your experience and given what you are hearing, are there any special accommodation, especially when it comes to shelters for persons with disabilities in Tobago? Well, so far, um, the facilities in Tobago are more flat. So we have a lot of facilities for persons with disability. Yeah. You know, the health centers and the schools and stuff there. Yeah. You know, the schools and them are more flat. So yeah, the school, so, FD, yeah. So in terms of like communications and so on, right? And from a Tobago perspective, um, I'm sure you all have, apart from the national, uh, I guess, Trinidad and Tobago, um, you know, communication, from a Tobago perspective, how accommodating it is for persons who are blind and also deaf and hard of hearing in terms of media communication, navigations, and so on. Well, I think much of it have not been um, said and shown. You know, right. they are putting things in place, but as not much has been said, you know, for persons with disability. You know where, where we could go you know to get access to certain things and you know what kind of um, transportation we could get because you know there are persons with disability and wheelchairs use walkers and crutches and all these things you know so i don't think they're doing much of of, of uh, media coverage for persons with disability towards the storm that we, we we're supposed to have soon you know right so in the, you mentioned logistics right in terms of like um, I guess transportation to let's say so, um, persons home is not stable enough and they need to go to a shelter and during the storm yeah, yeah. they so have to go to a shelter. Are there any particular images you from your you just mentioned that there are no I guess outright saying okay these are special special numbers and stuff you can call but from your perspective. Uh, I guess living in Tobago, right? Given past events and past storm, are there any persons you could reach out to to say, okay, you know, we can get a, uh, accommodation? Well, um, as I said earlier on, you know, um, I don't think there's much media coverage towards yeah. persons with disability, you mm -hmm. know, to get to these venues you know, to know how much person with disabilities in certain communities that if certain things happen, how quickly we could get them to a shelter. You know, so I don't think there's much media coverage um, has been shown yeah. and, and, and... So as a disability body, right, are you all working with the Tobago House of Assembly in terms of giving advice and, and stuff like that to, to say, okay, this is how it can be done? Well, right now we're in a, and again, a process of, of having a new administrator. Um, we have a new administration right now. So mm -hmm. we're waiting for them to settle in so we could we could come to work with them to try to make things better for persons with disability in Tobago. We're right. also trying to restructure our organization here in Tobago and try to get more persons with disability and we know how much of numbers of persons with disability. We're we doing some reshuffle of ourselves here in Tobago to, to work with this new administrator. We haven't met with them as yet, but soon we will be able to meet with the, with the new administration to, to try to put things in place for persons with disability. You know, Tobago is much, it is much more smaller than Trinidad with persons with disability, as we say, you know. So yeah. to try to find the numbers of persons with disability, to find the people with, it, with disability, you know, we have to really get to find only the numbers of persons with disability. So we're doing some restructuring ourselves too. Okay, so in terms of statistical 
um, I guess, statistical data and stuff like that. So yeah. I, you said that um, you're hoping to um, reach out to the THA. How, how are you? I, I guess you already have started reaching out to um, the THA, members of the THA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are they in terms of, I guess, being, how receptive are they, are they in when well, reaching out? Yeah. Well, they, they, well um, Cohen Thomas met with um, Farley and um, right. Mr. Duke when his, he came to Tobago for a weekend and he met with them right. and he spoke with them. So I think in two to three weeks' time, he's supposed to have a meeting with them to know how we could best we could make things better for persons with disability. Understood. And and what are the, what are the atmosphere in Tobago, given that we are some tropical storm warning? I just want to say that a couple of years ago, um, you know, we, saw, we had it real bad here. We had it really, really bad here. <laughs> right, and uh, the South Dependency um, actually witnesses a tip of a uh, uh, tropical storm, and it was very, very scary. So um, I'm pretty scared for the night, you know? It's not a nice experience. <laughs> no, so, it's not, it's not, it's not. <laughs> right. So, you know, um, what advice, especially living in Tobago and experiencing more storm than us, you know, what advice would you give for them when going through this? Because this is very traumatic. <laughs> yeah, well, the most I could tell our citizens, you know, be safe out there, make sure and have enough food, enough water, you have lights, you know, go to the groceries and get as much as you could get, you know, your accessories and stuff, you know, make sure lock up all the animals and 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 secure as best as you could secure everything in your home, you know, and... Yeah, that's the most I can really tell. Yeah, I, I just have a final question in terms of infrastructure in Tobago, right? Is the infrastructure, and in general, from your knowledge, um, and living at a national in Tobago, right? Is the infrastructure um, good to accommodate hurricane storm and stuff like that? Well, um. If the if, if that, that's a good question, actually, <laughs> it, it's it's good. It's good. I, can, I don't want to say anything bad about it. It's good, you right. know. As I said, it's it's easy to manage and stuff. You right. Know, so yeah. Yeah. So Donald, um, I I just want to say thank you so much for coming and be doing. It. I know we were supposed to talk on our next topic, but yes, well, yes, the yes. nature of what's going on. You know, we need to dive with. Yeah, we need to dive with. Yeah, and I think you were well prepared. So yeah. thank you so much for coming, sharing. You know your your experience and your knowledge, given that you guys have experienced stuff like this before, compared to us in Trinidad, and also what you are doing in terms of persons with disability and the vulnerable in Tobago. So yeah. thank you again, and I hope to have you. Back. Okay. Okay, great. I have so guys, I have Cohen Thomas, uh, the president of the Disabled People International Channel. Yeah. So Cohen, good morning. Pleasant morning to you, Shamla. It's a pleasure okay, being so here. Just quickly, right? And yeah. thank you for coming uh, coming on. Just quickly, in Trinidad and in Trinidad, what are some things being done to accommodate persons with disability, given that we are under a tropical storm warning? Um, Shamala, if I, if I may, and I think this is a critical issue here for us now in Trinidad, we really need to understand that persons with disabilities are a more vulnerable position as it relates to disaster preparedness. And I think that regional corporations, I know that in 2018, our organization would have reached out to the 14 regional corporations throughout Trinidad and Tobago in order for us to kind of put a framework in place for us to be able to reach, get come, come up with a, a, a framework where we can be able to find out exactly one, who are the members in our community? Where do they live? What type of disability that do they have? In order for us to be able to reach persons in, 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 in a time of a disaster. And we're seeing now that yeah. two, two, three, three years has passed and we really haven't put any kind of framework in place. Um, how then do we move forward? 
We are asking yeah. the regional corporations, the 14 regional corporations, if we can get some type of, of, of working relationship with the CSO and also the 14 regional corporations, where we can actually get each councillor, aldermen, and, and the, the regional bodies to find out exactly who are the members of the different labor communities so we can be able to reach them at any given time, like, like any, any, any moment. And I think it will be critical for us so that we can be able to then know, all right, if we have um, Keith, um, Keith Thomas, who is a situ in a situation where he's blind and he needs some type of assistance, whether it be to get him to our wheelchair or get him to get, get, get assistance for him to be bodily lifted into a vehicle or whatever it is that we can be right. able to reach and, 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 and the councillors will be able to identify who are the people in the communities, in the electoral districts, and be able to make that type of representation for them. Going, um, I, I know we are out of time, you know, wow. and, 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 yeah, and that little, <laughs> yeah, and that little, um, um, I guess, information you gave was very tremendous. And yeah, I think and, we and, have, and correct, I think and, and, and Shamlan, just, just, to, just to add as well, I say that the 41, oh. 41 constituencies that we have in Trinidad and Tobago, that the members of parliament, especially, as I say, we're in a working relationship with the councillors, once they understand the, um, the needs of the people in their electoral districts and their constituencies, it will make it a lot easier, even for us, to understand who are yeah. the members or who are differently able and understand that how then could we and all be, be able to treat the Trinidad and Tobago chapter of persons with dis yeah. disabilities, be able What's to treat that? with that, all right? Yeah, no problem. Cohen, thank you so much. We have to go now. But thank <laughs> you so much, and that was a thank tremendous you so much, for having in, amount of information in that little time. So, guys, I, um, I hope that um, persons who are listening take, take this into consideration that we need to work with persons in our regional corporation and beyond to accommodate persons with disabilities and for the world. So, with that being said, as I always say, be good. Do good and stay safe, guys. Bye.